Good morning. <laughs> I have the flowers here. But I think <laughs> they're just so big. A, bit, <laughs> a little bit sexual with them. <laughs> Stop it then, Rob. <laughs> I actually do want to have them in the background because they are so big. It's so beautiful. Adorable. <laughs> okay. By the way, Kiri commented on the video where you guys said uh, happy birthday to her. Um, <laughs> she's so sweet because she was like, Sandra uploaded a vlog <laughs> on her vlog channel. <laughs> so, yeah, if you haven't seen it. <laughs> but she was very grateful for the happy birthday wishes. But right here, right now, we're doing the daily. But not before I put the candle on. <laughs> Who do I think I am? <laughs> Let's see what today brings. <coughs> Tomorrow, <laughs> we already have Friday again. What have you planned for Friday? Or for the upcoming weekend? Isn't it the upcoming weekend that we have the, the full moon actually? No. No. No! No. That is actually on, well, a week from now. Usually you guys are going to get a call in the weekend. I don't know why that comes up now. A call? <gasps> I was like, could it be something about a promotion? But I don't know if a company would call on a weekend. Maybe. On a weekend! <laughs> well. Something about a call. Today I think we should use the Monolody. You haven't used this for a while. Oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I was actually drawn to take something else too, but maybe tomorrow. Full Moon in Pisces. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. That might be something we need for today. But well, let's see what spirit. Oi, oi, oi! I saw that! But I. Uh oh. I saw the Sagittarius sign. Darn it! Well, oh, it's gone. If it wants to come, play it well. But I hope you guys uh, got through the the jealousy days. <laughs> that was yesterday, right? Yeah. When it was something. I mean, obviously, it could be something that happens whenever. Right. <sighs> So let's see, Spirit, what do we need to know for today? Board games, I heard. Something about board games. <laughs> well, maybe that is your day today. Board games. Maybe it's a message of you letting someone win. Communication is key. New Moon in Gemini. Communication is key today. Well, we did get something about a phone call, right? What was it again? There is something about Gemini right now. Anyway, let's see what else this is about. We get more information. Full Moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches <laughs> resolution. Whoa, okay. Well, two cards with blue. Okay, when well, maybe some of you guys are dealing with a uh, Gemini or Cancer. Okay, last card. Let's see. What is this about? I will also take a tarot. Oh, another blue card. Oh, well, purple. Full Moon and Aquarius. Show the world the real you. Yes. Is that what the... Maybe you're going to show... Well, maybe that is something you're going to do. Show the world through communication the real you. Or you're showing someone the real you. Like <laughs> cancers, they do have a hard shell, right? Maybe it's family related or... 
Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you know, the whole area is just smelling like that and it's delicious. I can't describe it, but it's it's actually pretty good. So, mm. oh, wow. Communication is key. Well, that is definitely something that you realize or someone realizes. Can't keep yourself trapped like this. <laughs> Cards are communicating. Well, you are communicating today, that is for sure. It could be that you're communicating with yourself, with your inner feelings. Uh, obviously, we have cancer, so there could be something with family matters. Uh, I don't know something about technology, huh? <laughs> Oi. The truth might be quite shocking, but it's also releasing you, whatever it is, or releasing someone. Oh, no, the crack. Ah! Well, that felt good. <laughs> well, that, <laughs> I mean, that is something, whatever this is, is like, it's actually, now that the crack happened, <laughs> now that this. Whatever it is, <laughs> it happened. It's like, oh, I feel better. <laughs> you know, if you have something on your heart, you want to talk to someone about it. I think it's time. <laughs> oh, there's something where something is taking your power away. There could be something with the trickster, obviously. Now that we had the the toxic witches. Whoa. Could be something with family dynamics, but this is like being happy. So you're choosing happiness. I like that for you. Um, definitely a lot of clarity and a lot of focus. Where in the past, yeah, there might not have been. There is something about. Well, it's interesting. I feel. I feel for a lot of you guys that something has been revealed about, yeah, a clarity. But obviously, it is reversed, right? Shut up. <laughs> well, we did get the stuff with the conversation in the weekend. So maybe some of you guys are just, again, the hermit is here. So maybe, again, if it's not you, it can be. Um, a Gemini, Cancer or Aquarius that throughout the next days just like goes <laughs> goes inside <laughs> dips their toes into their feelings to be like how can I communicate this? Ha! Huh, that makes sense. So today I don't think you will see evidence of this but for some reason I tell you today <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> Okay, now it's time to take some parts because it's just been... Yeah. Okay, what is this about? Well, we have the lovers and <laughs> the Nine of Cups. Well, making a decision, maybe making a decision for your dreams, making a decision for love. We have Gemini here, once again. Well, Geminis do have a tendency to be in two minds, right? So maybe someone was in the two minds, <laughs> in their two minds about this wish. Or you are, again, doesn't have to be love related. We're going to see what else we can get. But maybe someone is like, well, I actually do want this. And we actually do have the three of pentacles here. So maybe someone wants to work with you. We actually do have a uh, Libra. So once again, it's a, a decision card. So, justice, clarity, victory, solution is being made. Again, that's actually, I put it under that card. A personal issue reaches uh, resolution. A personal issue. A personal issue. Working together. Well, that makes sense with Three of Pentacles, right? Reaching... Um, resolution. I think someone might actually want to talk with you about something here. So what is the, the last cards that I feel is connected with the Full Moon and Aquarius card? The Fool! Wow. That's strange. Hmm. Wow, people. 
Okay. The Empress and the Fool. There's a new beginning here. A brand new sod. That is a that is hocus pocus. <laughs> Very beautiful. Wow. Damn. Okay. <laughs> if something guys if there has been something with like the just with the justice. If there has been something with the law or uh, uh, a court case or something like that, there might actually, ooh, <laughs> there might be talk. <laughs> Someone might actually be like, you know this cold case or you know this case, you know, maybe it's actually time that we start it up. So it will fall <laughs> into your lap. <laughs> I don't know the words today. <laughs> um, whatever has been, whatever has felt injustice, <laughs> feel like I'm choosing the wrong words. <laughs> like, I'm looking at the card like, help? <laughs> Whatever has felt, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did I want to say with that? Whatever has felt what, universe? What has felt what here? What is this personal issue? Mm. Someone has been holding on to something. Holding on to words, holding on to an outcome, holding on to a case, holding on to what holding on to what? What holding on to what? What? <laughs> yeah, it's like something has been delayed or postponed. Again, it could be something with a legal matter of some of you guys or something with money, uh, something with the state. It could be whatever. Or like if some of you guys have been waiting for a promotion or working on working on Yeah, I'm making a lot of noise out there. <laughs> or um well for some of you guys it also feels like someone reviewed something that you maybe sent in or was look yeah, looking at something. But now someone is taking action. It could just be you taking action on whatever it is that you wanna bring to life. For sure, guys, now that we had all these cards in the beginning, maybe someone is going to tell you that they're pregnant. There's news about pregnancy, maybe. <gasps> Congratulations. <laughs> that is you. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> But again, the Empress is just like, it's just healthy. It's, yeah, show the world the real you. I like that. Whatever this is, it's pretty good. Let me just take the book just to say, to, just to say, <laughs> just to see if there's something coming up with the personal thing. Again. Oh yeah, that is the deck in the book that really got soaked in water. You guys remember that? That was, uh, that was dramatic. That was quite dramatic. Ooh. Oh yeah, someone made a comment that you got freaked out because you could see someone was passing. There is like a hallway out here, so people can walk. Well, not random people, family. <laughs> so you probably just saw my brother in the background. Nothing to call the police about. <laughs> could you imagine someone's like, I saw this terror reader. Don't know where she's living, but <laughs> someone is trying to murder her. Please don't. I actually had the craziest dream last night and well I did google it and I think I knew I think I know what it is but I dreamed I dreamt that my mom got killed but two times and you guys know my mom passed away in 2021 right so it's like what the hell it was just so oof yeah so weird um the only thing I just remember with like when I googled it was that it's something about anger or I don't know but then again, I think, I don't know, I don't know, I, it didn't make sense for me, but maybe it does make sense, right? Maybe it is rela releasing some, like a, a past trauma or something, in a way, I don't know. I know some people don't like the, the trauma word. <laughs> releasing something, <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> don't be clingy. 
that's actually interesting because the the four of pentacles is right on top of that huh maybe the conversation is about clinginess taking one step back in a way <laughs> stop sulking <laughs> it's like stop being sad <laughs> i don't know <laughs> maybe you could say that to yourself well it is a per would you just shut up <laughs> it does say it's a personal issue right so it is is it a personal issue for you <laughs> for you or for someone have you had enough family time lately <laughs> have you maybe, maybe that's an issue maybe it's not an issue it may be best to move towards what you want in a sideways manner. What does that mean? A sideways manner? But it's a high tendon time. Well, we have spoken about the cancer energy, haven't we? Now that I spoke about my ex being a cancer. <laughs> because, yeah, it is high emotions. So whatever the topic is, whatever this conversation is going to be, it might be filled with emotions. Someone might start crying. Okay. Someone might start crying. Which is good. It also feels like someone wants to work with you or someone wants to resolve something. Family related or not, because obviously cancer, that's the family. Dingy dingy, right? Uh, Aquarius can be a little bit cold, so I think you or someone else, depending on if you're the one who needs to deliver the message, try not to be too cold. Try to be emotional. <laughs> I think it, emotions are good <laughs> in this. Is there anything else we need to know with this? Sometimes I ask myself, I should not have taken any more cards. Well, actually, it's reversed. What does that mean, people? We all know it. Say it with me. Healing. Healing and a release. Letting go of pain. So, it's actually not so bad. Whatever this is, it's someone who, or you, been thinking about this for a long time. Maybe having a hard time, um, I don't know, forming words. <sighs> Definitely see a reconcilia reconciliation here. No matter what it is, if it's family, if it's whatever. Um, Whoever it's with. I mean, we have Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Gemini again. Let's, um, what is this about? I'm going to use Romance Angels, but again, it can be friendship, it can be family matters, okay? But again, I don't think this is going to happen today. It might for some of you guys, but I don't think it's going to happen today. <clears throat> could be a co-worker most like i'm sorry i stole your work i mean it could be someone <laughs> one of those like toxic witches from yesterday <laughs> like i'm sorry i treated you bad i am very sorry <laughs> okay <clears throat> should we take three cards just to see communication is key something is being healed and also with the uh, Three of um, Saw Traverse, that will be a mutual understanding. That was a hard word. Oh, Kidoki, what do we need to know about this? It could be an X. <laughs> do we want that? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay. <laughs> That could be, but it could also be, well, it could be in the way that someone is coming towards you when it comes to communication, right? Where you're not used to that. If someone starts crying and you're like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> or if someone is not showing emotions, but still want to talk to you, right? So I, I think that's why it's here. Like, keep an open mind when it comes to this conversation, because it might not be the way that you think. Like... The conversation might not go the way that you think, but it, <laughs> it <laughs> there's a lot of healing going on. What else? Stay optimistic. Uh, it does say stay optimistic about your love life. 
Uh, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Positive thinking and you staying optimistic will bring this conversation... <laughs> will make this conversation good, right? Is, and we do have to fall pentacles here so whatever this conversation is about i think you need to really keep an open mind <laughs> i don't know why i don't know what this is about but you need to keep an open mind and again maybe someone is really trying to show you the real them <laughs> i don't know why it sounds wrong so if it is in love or if it is in family again ooh, the dynamic with family sometimes can be a little what else? Last card. <laughs> Express your love! Go ahead and make a romantic gesture. Which fits well with this. Someone is showing you the true colors. And again, if it's family, if it's a friend, someone is just expressing like, you know what? I really want this friendship to work. You can watch that. You know what? I really want this friendship to work. I like you. I like what you do. <laughs> I like what you do. I like... <laughs> I like our adventures, <laughs> so let's make it work. Again, it can also be in love. If it's baby talk, <laughs> maybe, I mean, again, stay, up to, stay optimistic. Stay open for this conversation, okay? It's clearly going to be a very magical conversation with these cards. And um, no matter if it's work or whatever it is, <clears throat> it's like, let's make, let's make a deal. Maybe someone was like, you're going to get 5%. And you're like, nah, nah, I want 25. So you might need to <laughs> go down on 15%, right? There needs to be, something needs to be worked out here. Like, this is what I can offer. <laughs> this is what we can work with right now. Because the Three of Pentacles, it is a working card. So whatever this conversation is going to end up with... There's still work to be done. <clears throat> if it's um, something about let we need to spend more time together or we need to be better at again communicating, we need to trust each other. You need to spend more time with the family. <laughs> you need to clean. <laughs> Whatever it is, again, it can be a simple task as like a husband or wife being like, I need you to step up and also take the dishes now and then. <laughs> Or empty out the dishwasher, <laughs> right? Hmm. Mm hmm. Don't forget to put emotions into it. But if there is, but if there are no, well, I'm not gonna say that. If the emotions from the other side, from the other side, from the other person, doesn't feel as emotional as you might want, don't back down. Don't hold on to how you think this conversation should go or how you think something. Again, stay optimistic about your love life. <laughs> oh, but yeah, also that, but <laughs> stay optimistic about the conversation and the healing. Because again, keep an open mind. It might not... Uh, I don't see any cheating cards. So at least that is not the news. <laughs> But something is happening okay thank you guys this this is a long one again but remember if it doesn't happen today it will happen in the weekend maybe sunday maybe sunday is a cold day okay thank you bye